Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale this Bun Speed Brew Select coffee maker, model number SBS. This is their 10 cup speed brew with the warming plate. So you are gonna need at least one quart of vinegar. This is a two quart container, 64 fluid ounces. It says to use white vinegar. This is distilled white vinegar. You can use just regular white vinegar. First thing, make sure this is empty. We don't want any coffee or coffee filter in here. Okay, so you're gonna take the, you need four cups of pure vinegar, one quart. So let's just, I'll show you how much it is in the, in the uh, carafe. So there's two cups. And let's put two more. This is pure vinegar, no water added. Okay. So that is six coffee cups. Coffee cups are different than cooking cups. So up to the six mark with pure vinegar. And we're gonna dump this into the coffee maker. And we're not gonna be turning the warming plate on, but we, we do have that switch on like we were brewing coffee. So pour, you're gonna pour the vinegar straight in up here. Now vinegar does kind of smell when it goes through a coffee maker. You might need a little bit of ventilation. Put your carafe back and then you're gonna close the lid. Now the vinegar is gonna go into the coffee maker into, the, into that back water reservoir. So what's happening right now is bun coffee makers have a water tank in the back and that vinegar is gonna go into that water tank. Then we're gonna turn the coffee maker off and it's gonna soak in there. So I took apart an older bun coffee maker. Here's what the inside of that water tank looks like if you don't keep up on descaling. See that heating element in there and see all that, that uh, calcium and hard water deposits? That's what we don't want to happen. Your coffee won't be as hot as it used to be and your coffee won't taste as good. And your coffee maker will start to get really loud. So if your coffee maker is getting really loud, it's time to descale. They say you should descale about every three months. And you're going to give your, we're going to let this soak for two hours. So again, what we did right now is we we're inside, we got vinegar now inside that holding tank. And when the water stops coming out, Keep an eye on it when the water stops coming out, okay? Now you're gonna turn this off. Turn it to the zero position, that's off. Now we want that vinegar to soak for two hours. Uh, set a timer or something, come back in two hours, and we're gonna finish. Then we gotta do some fresh water rinses to rinse that vinegar out. But what's happening right now is that vinegar is hopefully gonna break away that calcium and kind of clean up that, that water tank in there. And then I, I dumped this vinegar out while it's soaking for two hours. Okay, so it's been soaking for two hours. It's nice and cooled down. Nothing's gonna be hot. So now we wanna take this brew uh, nozzle off. So up underneath here, if we look at this brew nozzle, see this, we can take this brew head off. It just screws. And there's what's, that's where the water, hot water comes out. Okay, so it's got these little holes. Get a toothpick, and they want you to clean out these holes. Now, the toothpick won't go all the way through, but you can see it comes through. There's the threaded area. You will get some calcium buildup on these. So just make sure they're nice and clean, all of them, all the way around. If you live in a high-altitude setting, they will give you a different um, brew head, brew nozzle. Okay, so now you're going to screw it. It goes on real easy. Don't force it, don't cross thread it. So just screw it and then give it a little bit of a snug fit, just a little bit, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna continue to leave the switch off. We need to run four fresh water pots of water through the machine to clean out that vinegar. Okay, again, I got my funnel basket installed. We're gonna leave the burner off, leave the switch off. Just now we're dumping fresh water in, 10 cups. We're gonna do this four times. Each time only takes about four minutes. So put the craft back, close the lid. As soon as I close the lid, that plunger goes down. And now that fresh water is displacing that, cal that um, vinegar in there. So this might smell a little bit like vinegar. We're gonna discard that, rinse it out with soap and water so that when we put fresh water in, it doesn't have uh, vinegar in it. Four times you gotta do that. After the fourth time, let the water drain out. Then you can turn your switch on and then you're all ready to make coffee. But you will have to wait 15 minutes for the internal temperature to get up to temperature. But again, you're supposed to do this every three months. It is really important for bun coffee makers because 
that heating element's working a lot, keeping that water heat, heated all the time. It doesn't know when you're going to brew your coffee, so it has to keep it hot all the time. Here we have a typical coffee maker, and you put the water in the back. It heats the water just when you're ready to brew. So when you hit the brew button, this heating element kicks on. I've cut it open here, and it heats the water and sends it up over the brew head. That's why regular coffee makers, you don't, you still need to descale, but not as often as bun. Because they're only on when you're brewing the coffee. Yeah, bun coffee makers, when that's, I call it the vacation switch. When this switch is on, it's keeping that, that water tank in there at the proper temperature for brewing coffee. And if you ever go on vacation, I, I to say if you're not going to brew coffee for a couple weeks, turn this switch off. Otherwise, it will, that water will eventually evaporate out of there and it could ruin that heating element. So start to finish, it's not too long. It's that two-hour waiting period. So doing these fresh water rinses is going to take about, you know, five minutes a piece. So you're looking at about 20 minutes at the end and about 10 minutes on the front end. Thanks, everybody, for watching.